Yo, what is going on guys? It's Juan Solo here with A-Squad Gaming and man have I been waiting to say this. Welcome back to some Call of Duty Modern Warfare Remastered. Uh, I should say welcome back, but it's been probably a good eight years since I've actually played through the campaign of this game. And, uh, you know, it is it, there's so much nostalgia and like, I wouldn't, how do I put it? You know, it's kind of an emotional experience because when I played this game in its prime, I was 18 years old. I had just graduated high school. I had just started my first real, you know, getting paid week to week to week, good money, you know, started my first job. You know, it was, you know, it was a time in my life where I just, you know, there wasn't a whole lot of worries. It was, you know, work, sleep and play video games. That was basically my life back then. But uh, yeah, guys, we get to play some Modern Warfare Remastered. This actually is not my PS4. I do not own a PS4. I actually was kind enough. Uh, one of my buddies at work was kind enough to let me borrow his PS4, and uh, so I could play the campaign and capture this. So we're just going to jump into this. I'm actually going to let the commentary of the game play through real quick, and I will get back to you in a sec. Good news first: the world's in great shape. We've got a civil war in Russia. Government loyalists against ultranationalist rebels, and 15,000 nukes at stake. Just another day at the office. Khaled al Assad, currently the second most powerful man in the Middle East. Now, word on the street is he's got the minerals to be top dog down there. Intel's keeping an eye on him. And the bad news? We've got a new guy joining us today. Fresh out of selection. Soap His name's McTavish, Soap. baby. Like, what the hell kind of name is Soap, eh? Good to see you, mate. Take one of the rifles from the Oh my god, this table. game looks so good. You know the drill. Go to station one and aim your rifle aim down, it down range. range. Lovely. Now, shoot at the oh. targets while firing from they the hip. They switched up the order. I'm pretty sure in the original COD 4, you aim down your sights and hit the target from the top and the bottom first. Now, aim your rifle down but range. Now, shoot each target while aiming down the sights. Now, I'm going to block the targets baby. with a sheet of plywood. Bullets will penetrate thin, weak Bullets material, will penetrate like thin weak materials like wood, plaster, and sheet metal. Like Oh my god, I don't know how many times over the years that I've said that line just randomly when I'm playing games because it always stuck with me. Now I'm gonna make the targets Oh, ready for some 100% accuracy Get here, boys. As as you can. Oh, I missed. Oh, let's go. There we go. Drop a good job, mate. Yeah, not many people know that the snap on aim in single player is that crazy. Like, I just aimed down Good. the center now there your and just left triggered out and in, like in and out, up. and it would just snap Remember, onto all those switching targets. Switching to your pistol is always faster than reloading. Oh my god, Using dude, they changed what Gaz looks like. Switching like to your pistol. Oh my god, he looks so wall, bad. Nice. Your fruit killing skills he looks are remarkable. so bad. Captain Price wants to see you. That's kind of disappointing. Oh, look at, oh my god, look at this. That is so much more detail and so much more stuff going on than there was in the original COD 4. Also, oh, nice. yeah, this wasn't in the original Call of Duty 4. You get to test out your grenades. Yeah, this wasn't in the original Call of Duty 4. That's pretty cool. Oh, I still got it. Still got it, baby. Three for three. And that's the thing, too, in this game, like, oh my god, everybody in this game was like a professional football player or whatever, like, just a quarterback, because you could throw your grenades so far, it was unbelievable. I mean, it was just crazy how far you could throw your grenades. Oh, man, and that thud when you get, when you direct impact somebody in this game. Yeah, even the nuke tubes, like, look at these things. You can, you don't even have to barely aim high, and these things just fly, man. Come back around and pick up some C4 off the C4. table. Equip the C4, so. Equip the C4. Follow me. Oh my god. That animation it never changed. Modern Warfare, Modern Warfare 2, Modern Warfare 3 all had that little clicker. And just... so. Place the C4 on the indicated spot. Oh, Judy's, we're blowing up his ex wife's car. That's explosions. funny as hell. Fire in the hole! <laughs> oh my god, dude. The explosions and the audio of the explosions. You pass the weapons evaluation. Pass the weapons evaluation. Man, the audio in this is so good. So good. Go see Captain Price. Shit, those fucking jets. 
That's new. What else is there going on around here? Oh, what the fuck is this? Tell me we get to run the obstacle course. Well, it seems Miss Sophia was kind enough to join us. Line up, ladies. Oh, do we get to run the obstacle course? Go. Go, go, go. Oh they shit, I gotta jump up on that. Shit. <laughs> get your asses in gear. Let's go, Move. baby. This is awesome. This wasn't in the original Call of Duty 4 either. Jump you basically went straight out of the weapons test, the original weapons test. I went right over and talked to Captain Price. This wasn't, none of these things were in the original. That's awesome. Like the course, the obstacle course was there. I'm not sure if it looked like this. I'm pretty sure it looked very similar in this, but you couldn't do anything at it. Now that they actually made it so you can go through and run these, that's freaking awesome. Go, go, go. Nice. Oh, jeez, I'm gonna run over by Jeep. Private Knox, Private Griffin. Griffin goes on the frickin' cargo ship mission with us. It's the FNG, sir. Go easy on him, sir. It's his first day in the regiment. Oh, there he is. Right. Captain Price. What the Price. hell kind of name is Soap, eh? How to muppet like The ultimate you, badass in Call of Duty, man. So if it's he your turn so for the CQB badass. test, everyone else head to observation. For this test, you'll have to run the cargo ship less solo in less than 60 seconds. seconds. Gaz, so Gaz holds the current record, record, record at 19, record seconds. 19 seconds. Good oh luck. my god, dude. All well, these the quotes from there. this game, like, I memorized because I played this game so much. Oh my god, this brings back memories. Pick up that MP5 and four flashbangs. Let's go, baby. On my go, I want you to rope down to the deck and rush right, to position one. they got all the targets one. in the same place. So After that, you will storm down the stairs there. to position two. Then hit position three. Oh, four. let's go for trying to break Gaz's 19-second record position. here right off the get-go. First Grab time. Grab the rope when you're ready. Go, go, go. Let's go, baby. Hit the targets. Oh, baby, yeah. Two, go. Oh, shit. Hit the targets. Flashbang through the door. The flash. Position four. Oh Hit man, the, the aim in this game it just feels so smooth. Hit the targets. Oh my god, go, 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 go. Oh, I didn't get it. Oh, I did get it. Accuracy bonus. That's a new squadron record, so. 17 seconds. Fuck, get out, I'm done. One and done. Recommended difficulty veteran. I'm definitely not going to play it on veteran, but, uh,. Yeah, Gentlemen, that is pretty much all for episode one, guys. Honestly, from here on out, I'm probably not going to do a live com. I just wanted to do one here. Dismissed. The rest of this campaign, I'm going to let you guys enjoy the campaign for what it is, sound and audio and everything. So uh, if you guys enjoyed this video, make sure to drop a like and also subscribe for more Modern Warfare Remastered. I will see you guys in the next episode. Peace out.